Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. We are grinding out those daily uploads. But right now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your mic go from this, like, poor quality, not so good mic, this is like my stock microphone, to actually this mic right here, which sounds a lot better, as you can tell. I'm going to show you that all in this video. I'm going to provide you guys with the easiest way to do this and the best settings as well. If you go ahead to enjoy this video, the least you could do for me is drop a like, like no one really does it but it helps out so much it takes only two seconds of your time and you can even do it now if you want really does support the channel if you want to go the extra mile you can subscribe as well turn on post notifications therefore you never miss an upload just like this but yeah without further ado let's hop straight into the video Okay guys, so I am over on my desktop right now, as you can see. I'm gonna actually bring up my OBS right here and I'm gonna just show you another side-by-side -side comparison. So you did hear it in the intro right there, but basically right now you are hearing me with voice processing. So I've done all processing to my voice and it does sound generally a lot better. So I do have enhancements to my microphone right now, as you can see right here with my input. And now what I'm gonna do is change it back to my default and I guess you just heard a pretty big difference. So this is it right now with my default, my stock microphone. And then let's change it right here and that's the difference right there with all the effects on it and just it sounds a lot better i am actually using the blue yeti microphone right now and it sounds so good like this literally sounds like an xlr microphone if you didn't know this was a blue yeti which also the blue yeti isn't a bad microphone it's actually not that bad but if you didn't know this was a blue yeti you'd actually think i had a proper studio microphone because compared to this which is again the stock blue yeti you start to realize how bad this really sounds compared to this right here and yeah that's crazy i'm going to show you how to do it in this video just make sure to watch the whole thing and stick to the so enough rambling on i'm gonna show you how to do it i'm gonna quickly go over to my browser right here let's bring it over here and what i'm gonna search up is voice meter download just like that once you've searched up that you want to click the top one it says a vb audio voice meter the top link i will link it down below in the description once you're here you want to download the original voice meter so nothing else not voice meter banana not voice meter potato just normal voice meter so you just want to scroll down a little bit and it should be right here it's like the first download you'll see it doesn't really matter which one you download you can download the xe file which is best if you don't have WinRAR, but it's 2020 a lot of you do have WinRAR, so I would download this top one right here I'm not gonna show you me downloading it because um as you can see here I already have it It's really just self-explanatory when you install it. It isn't hard whatsoever But yeah, once you've correctly downloaded the application you will be able to get onto it and it should look just like this That's actually a lie. It won't look exactly like this You will have to actually add some settings So what I'm gonna do is actually include some settings within the description So actually right here it does let me save my settings So yeah, what I'm gonna do is save my settings and and here they are like this is a download you'll have in the description it's called god settings right now i'm probably gonna change the name i'm actually gonna do it right in this video let's save these settings right here so i'm gonna call it fetch good microphone settings but yeah let's just save that right here and there will be the exact settings you can download in the description i'll probably end up putting it in my discord server so you can just go over to my discord i'm gonna show you how to do it right now some people did have issues when i mentioned this in one of my other videos when i usually include a download link in my discord you want to join the server verify with this right here verification help and then once you verify, you want to go to announcements and there will be a download link right here for when the video is uploaded. It's kind of straightforward. Once you have downloaded the settings, the best way to get this done is just to drop the settings in here. So you can actually press menu and go to load settings and you will be able to load this XML file right here, which basically once loaded will give you these exact values and these basically exact settings, which make my mic sound so good. So yeah, there will be a few things you have to change. Just as long as everything's now looking like this, once you have loaded these settings, you know you're on the right tracks. The only thing you'll need to change is right here here where it says hardware input you actually want to click this and make sure this is your microphone so what you want to do is actually make sure it says wdm and then whatever your microphone is so your main microphone whatever you want to use to talk into you want to select so mine's a blue yeti so i'm going to click wdm microphone blue yeti hardware input for you should say stereo mix for the most part you want to keep it on exactly this and if it does not say stereo mix you have to actually select a value what you want to do is just select something that you do not use so something that literally you cannot hear audio through anything that is just an inactive device so for me it's just set to this it should be the same for you this virtual input you don't want to mess with also anywhere underneath hardware input the second hardware input you don't want to mess with any of these settings here and then the last thing you want to change is where it says hardware out mine is actually my monitor because again with this you want to actually select something that you don't use so also it doesn't matter here if it's wdm or mme like it just doesn't matter you want to just select something that is inactive another inactive device so i actually selected my monitor right here because i cannot hear audio through my monitor unless i basically plug like a headset into it so yeah that should be an option for you to choose 
like maybe your monitor. If you can do that, do exactly that. The reason you do that is because basically you don't want to hear yourself. So if you actually select this to something you can hear. So if maybe I was to change this right here to my speakers pro X, which is actually my Logitech headset, I'd basically be able to hear myself like almost like an echo or just listen to myself talk. You don't really want to do that. You don't want to just hear that all the times. So yeah, make sure you do set that correctly. And once you've done that, that is kind of it. Like at least for this, you don't really want to tamper with any of these settings for the most part, at least for me, at least for all my friends who have used these exact settings. Now mic is going to now sound a lot better. The only thing I suggest you can tamper with if you really want to would be the fader gain right here. Basically, it's just how much your audio fades out when you stop talking. So I'm actually going to stop talking right now. You can kind of see how like my audio slowly fades, if that makes sense. I don't know if you can hear that there. Hopefully my editor didn't mess it up or cut it out too much. But you can kind of get the gist with that. And with the IntelliPan right here, I guess you can change this. Move around this little red square right here. Basically, I think if you move it down, that'll make your voice sound normal. And if you move it up, your voice will have more bass to it and sound, I guess, a lot deeper almost. But again, for the most part, these are the settings you want. They're the reason you clicked on this video. So yeah, I just wouldn't really change them. And yeah, once you've done that, the only other thing you want to do in here is go to menu and make sure where it says system tray run at startup make sure this box right here is ticked you don't actually need the one below show app on startup you don't need that ticked but if you want it to like actually show on your desktop when you start windows you can do that i actually do prefer it so i guess i can monitor it and keep it on my second monitor but for most of you guys all you want it to do is actually just run at startup therefore it's always open and actually running and then it'll basically just go down to your display tray right here just like this but yeah as long as it's open it's always going to be working and your mic will now sound pretty crispy it's that simple the only things i wouldn't recommend you do is go over to your discord go to voice and video settings and if you want to use this microphone in discord you need to make sure first of all your input device is set to your voice meter virtual output or i guess input i don't know why it's called output i think it's output because voice meter is outputting this audio like bro I'm, I'm confused but basically you want to make sure your input device is voice meter output so as long as it's that and not your normal mic that means it is working and these voice enhancements it's voice processing it's basically actively working on your microphone and now working within discord so people can hear your nice and crispy audio and yeah, once you have done that, you want to make sure all these settings here are actually disabled. So a lot of these will be enabled by default. And basically with voice media, you do not want them turned on because they can actually cause like a static key and really like inconsistent tone to your voice. It's, it's just weird. You don't want to have these turned on. So make sure literally everything is disabled besides advanced voice activity. And yeah, once you have done that, that is basically it. Just make sure whatever you want to use, again, your voice meter output, basically just make sure your input device is selected to this right here. And yeah, it's that simple. If you want to test how your mic now sound you can either go into like obs and just record your audio and do what i did at the start and just change your um output between the like recording and see the difference like side by side or what you can do is actually just go here and press let's check and you will be able to hear yourself within discord and hear how nice your voice sounds you can go between your two inputs and actually see the difference and yeah it's that simple i mean hopefully i did not like explain that for too long i, I try to keep that as short and as simple yet as informative and i guess be fully transparent with all of that as possible if that makes Makes sense hopefully you guys do fully understand that and you did just set up your voice meter correctly but yeah that is literally the end of the video i provided you guys with my settings and showing you how to set it up it's that simple so i don't know why people do it like that can make your super bad mic sound so much better and hopefully this worked for you if it did drop a like it's the least you could do for me and subscribe to the channel that i mean so much i hope everyone has an amazing day it's been your boy fetch and yeah peace